Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Andrew Hotchkiss. And I'm Anthony Berkey, and this is your KWHS News. If you want a locker next year, please sign up with your advisory teacher, the counseling office, or Miss Price. You may not get what you want if you don't ask. Oh, and speaking of lockers, start cleaning them out now and take all your stuff home before exam week. All students, not just seniors. If you have fees, you need to pay before graduation or the end of the school year. Pay them in the business office, do it now, and avoid the long lines. If you have overdue books, get them back to the library now and pay your fine. If you're taking classes in D3 My Way, your deadline for coursework is on Monday. Get it done. If you didn't buy your yearbook, today is the day. Hope you have cash money. It'll set you back $70. Hope you brought a dollar so you can get your Sharpie this afternoon. Step students, logs and evaluations are due Monday. No logs or evals, no grade. See Ms. Hildebrand in Lab 159. Miss Betsy and the cafeteria staff has a great lunch for us today. Check it out. Happy Friday, another week down. Today we're going to have a hot dog. So come on down and see us. Have a great day. Bye. Lunch fees, pay them in the cafeteria or in the business office. Did you pick up a Scribe Tribe application? It's due to Miss Wickberg today. Finals are around the corner. Let NHS help you prepare. Get yourself to the library for a pass. Here's Dee Contreras with our sports update. Happy Friday, Glads. I'm Deacon Contreras with your sports update. Open gym times continue this week. Here's the lineup for Bowers Gym. Monday, ladies basketball from 6 to 8 p.m. Wednesday, ladies volleyball from 3 to 5 p.m. until May 17th. Ladies, the summer open gyms for volleyball will start on June 6th and will happen on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 10 a.m. in Bowers Gym. Lastly, on Thursday, men's basketball from 6 to 8 p.m. Gentlemen, if you missed the boys' summer basketball league meeting on Wednesday, please stop by room 207 at lunch or after school to get the information you need. This past fall, our boys and girls cross country team made history by qualifying for state, where the boys finished second as a team. If you'd like to learn more about being a part of next year's history's making team, please attend the informational meeting on Tuesday, May 16th at 2.45 in room 501 above Bowers Gym. See you there. Hey Glads, want to see some old timers get their game on? Alumni from both WHS and Mesa will show their skills at the WSD3 alumni basketball game tonight at 6.30 in Bowers Gym. Tickets are $6 and all proceeds will go to each school's athletic program. It was a great event last year and they expect it to be as much fun this year. The Glads baseball team has a fundraiser next Monday at the Southgate Chipotle from 4 to 8 p.m. Bring this flyer, show it on your smartphone, or tell the cashier you're supporting this fundraiser. And 50% of your purchase will go to the baseball team. All guys interested in playing tennis next fall? Coach Portugal is having a meeting on Monday, May 15th in room 115. That's the science hallway. If you can't make it or have any questions, see Coach Portugal. If you are interested in working with our fellow student athletes, learning about first aid and injuries, or just want to be involved with something great, have you thought about becoming an athletic trainer? Join us for a meeting on Wednesday, May 17th at 2.45 in the library. Congratulations to Max Martinez, winner of the Rotary Champion Scholarship. Way to go, Max. Finally, our GLAD track team is headed to league championship this weekend. We have some early chatter about some runners going to state, but we don't want to jinx their chances. Best of luck to our track teams for a fast times and long distance. This is our last sports update today. I'm Dee Contreras. Now back to you for the last time to Andrew and Anthony. Thanks Dee. Need a job? Here are two for you. The WSD3 grounds crew job deadline is today, but you can still apply for the parks and rec job at the pool. Check out the WSD3 website for job announcements. If you blew it and need credits to graduate, sign up for credit recovery now. The summer sessions start on June 6th. Your wallet may be lighter after this, but your brain will be bigger and you can graduate on time. Do it. And finally, seniors, we've been telling you for two weeks now, but some of you will still ask. So here's the last chance information you need for next week. Senior exams are on Monday, May 15th for periods 5, 6, and 7 and Tuesday, May 16th for periods one through four. You can complete your final checkout starting on Tuesday. Wednesday, May 17th is the Senior Awards Night at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. The Senior Breakfast is on Thursday, May 18th at 7.15 at the Cheyenne Mountain Resort. Tickets are $22 and are available in the business office. Today is the last day to buy those. Friday, May 19th is graduation practice at 11.30. Please be on time. And of course, graduation is Saturday, May 20th at 9 a.m. Seniors, you must be in the small gym by 7.30. Don't be late.
Remember, student cabinet and class council votings will take place on Wednesday and Thursday in the small gym. Freshmen and sophomores and juniors, we didn't forget you. Your exams start on Monday, May 22nd for periods 1, 2, and 3. Following exams on Monday, you too get to clean out your locker. Tuesday is the late start and exams for periods 4 and 5 will take place. Wednesday is your last day and exams for periods 6 and 7 with an early release for your last day of school. This is the last broadcast for us seniors and we'd like to take some time to thank those people who have helped make this year's broadcast better than ever. So for our whole staff, seniors and all, here we go. Hi, my name is Abby Ragsdale. I would like to thank everyone who has supported me throughout this rough year for me. Thank you for making me feel loved and showing care. I wish you all a great summer and a great school year next fall. It was a pleasure being a gladiator for two years. My thank you goes out to all the athletes uh, for taking their time out of their classes to let us interview them and for the teachers that, to let their athletes out of their classes. Another thank you goes out to Doc for the health tips this year. Uh, thank you for your time and your effort with all the health tips. Hi, my name is Mr. Trujillo. And I just want to say thank you to my sister for all the help she's given me since she's been here in high school. She's helped me learn so much. Thank you. KWHS would like to thank Miss Betsy for always bringing a positive attitude. You have been so amazing to us this school year. Every time we record you, you are always a delight and amazement to record. Students have been influenced by your kindness and positive attitude. Thank you so much for doing this for us. Hopefully you will continue to record the lunches and even more. Thank you. My thanks goes out to Major Davis. Major Davis, thank you for allowing me to record ROTC. It was a great honor to combine our ideas together and create the vision you had for ROTC. Appreciate you for that. Thank you. Thank you to all the students who have taken this time out of their busy schedules to help make these reverse power tickets. And to shout out some of our amazing teachers here at Whitefield High School. Also, teachers, thank you so much for letting your students out of class to help me tell me record these videos. And lastly, shout out to Miss Snoop. She was the one who made everything possible this year. Thank you so much. That's all we have for you today. Have a great Friday. Remember, today we are on a special advisory schedule for yearbook distribution. I'm Anthony Berkey. Finish strong, seniors. I'm Andrew Hotchkiss, and this was your KWHS News.